so to define the constraints and the forces onto this bar first we will have to create a load collector so i select the option of load collector click on this load collector in this load collector click the option of create and insert the name first we will want to insert the constraint constraint mean that left side of this beam is fixed to insert the constraint in hyper mesh we will apply the command that is spc spc means single point constraint because we are going to apply this constraint at a single point give it some color and no card image and click on this create so we have created a load collector for the constraint so we will create another load collector for the force so i insert the keyword force give it some different color okay give it some this color no card image and click the option of create and then click on this return now in this model tree we can see we had two load collectors i click on this plus sign that is spc and force so i select this option of spc make a right click on this and select the option make current click on this make current and now go to the analysis in this analysis select the option of constraint click constraint so we have to restrict all the degree of freedom of this node so make a check on this all the degree of freedom 1 to 6 and now we have to select the node so i select this left node now it is selected and click on this create and now we can see the preview of constraint so i click return so after we had defined the constraint we have to define the load so load means force so i click the option of force make a right click and select make current all the properties that will be assigned will be go to this force collector so i select this forces and the magnitude of this force so the value of this force is 100000 that is 1 0 0 0 0 0 and the direction of this force will be positive in x axis so direction we are going to define as click on this arrow and select the option of x axis and now we have to select the nodes option and select this node click on this node and click create and now we can see the force is specifying in the x direction and this value is given 1 into 10 raised to the power 5 click return so in the last step we have to define the load step so once again go to this analysis tab click on this load step in the load step we have to give the name of type of loading so what we are doing in this we are doing the stress analysis so we can insert the name static because we are doing the static analysis in the type select the option of linear static so we have defined the two load collectors now we have to assign both the load collectors to this load step check on this spc and load step now in the spc click on this option of equal click this equal now we have two option highlighting spc and force to spc define this spc and then go to this loads click on this equal sign and to the load define this force and now click create go to the return option so now we had defined the load step we can go to the analysis part so before going to the analysis what we do i go to this file option click on this save i will save this model so specify some location to this and save this suppose i make a new folder for this create new folder i give the name hm files and the file name i take 1d bar save as hypermesh binary file and click save now that the file is saved we have to do the analysis so to do the analysis i click on this option of optistruct click on this optistruct because the optistruct is used for the analysis make sure that 
proper location of this file is highlighting here in the export option click on this arrow select all in the run option select analysis select this memory default and now select this optistruct option click optistruct now software will do the analysis of the beam we have created it may take some time depending upon the configuration of your computer now it is showing that analysis is completed and click the option of result select the result the result will be highlighted in a new window that is called hyper view so in this we are using the three softwares first is hyper mesh to create the beam then optistruct to do the analysis and the hyper view to show the result of this analysis so now we are in the hyper view make sure that location of this file is specified as proper click on this apply select the option of yes and then go to the option of this contour select this contour now in this contour we have result type click on this arrow we have displacement and elemental stress so i select this displacement magnitude in this magnitude we can specify the direction where we want to see the magnitude i want to see the magnitude in x direction click on this x and select apply i go to this top view to have a better view of this now we can see the value of this displacement is 2.38 and we can also find out the stress go to this stress option and select c bar actual stress select the option of an apply and now we can see the value of stress in the element is 1000 megapascal i go to once again the displacement and now what i want to do is i want to view an animation of the displacement that how the displacement is going to occur into this so for this i select the option of deform click on this deformed and the scale factor suppose i take 100 press enter and click apply and then go to the option of animation and select start okay it is going too fast for this i select this frame rate and drag it to the left side make a better view of this now i will start the animation now we can have a better preview of the displacement so i make a zoom out of this now we can see the displacement is going in the right or direction frame by frame so i click on this apply so in this way we can calculate the value of stress and the displacement in our element now we can go to the option of file and we can save it save this session once again 1d bar 1d bar optistruct opti we can give it some name and and save this session click on this save so both the files and the result of these files are saved in this way we can do the analysis of a bar